I'm Dylan at Western Bike Works, and in partnership with BikepackersMagazine.com, this is our bike packing trailside repair clinic. Do 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 One of the reasons that bikepacking is so popular is it allows you to get out into the wilderness, just you and your bicycle out in remote areas. But the downside being is that you're far away from any kind of professional bike repair services. So you have to be prepared to deal with the inevitable, meaning that bad luck can strike like a crazy redneck in a dragon t-shirt with a BB gun and a knife, ready to wreak havoc and ruin your bikepacking expert. Oh, that's nice, that's, that's really nice. Appreciate that. Point being is bad luck can strike at any time, like a crazy redneck in a dragon shirt. Take your beer. One of the most common things to happen out in the middle of nowhere is a sidewall cut. That's when the casing of the tire is compromised, where you get a slash in it more than about a quarter of an inch. And that can be catastrophic for a couple different reasons. If you're running a tubeless system, no sealant will seal up a cut of that size. If you're running a tube system, the tube will balloon out of that sidewall cut and will cause a catastrophic failure. So you have to be able to repair the casing even when you're out in the middle of nowhere. We're gonna show you how. It may seem daunting, but a sidewall slash is actually a very easy repair. All you need is a tire lever, a tire boot, a pump, and a tube. Like any good bike packer, we've come well prepared. So I'm just gonna open up my porcelain rocket mission control handlebar bag. I got some sundries, essentials, tubes, two tubes and then a patch kit so you don't have to carry a whole bunch of different tubes. You can patch any extra punctures. Also have the chrome large tool roll that's gonna hold a lot of our essentials, including tire levers and a tire boot. This is a non-flexible fabric-based patch that's gonna go on the inside of the casing of the tire to prevent the pressure of the tube from ballooning out of that ruptured casing. The other thing we're gonna need is some kind of high volume pump, and this is one from Lazain, and this has also been wrapped with a little bit of duct tape. This is an old school bike packing and tourers trick where you wrap a whole bunch of duct tape around your pump. So if you need duct tape to repair something on the trail, you have it here. You don't have to carry a whole roll of duct tape. This pump also has an integrated pressure gauge so you know exactly what pressure you're putting in to that tire. High pressure, high volume. It almost mimics the action of a small floor pump. So this is a great option from Lazain. All right, first take the wheel off the bicycle. We happen to have a full suspension bike, which is particularly well suited for those endurance races that take you on a lot of single track. For example, the one that's coming up in Colorado that goes from Denver to Durango. You're gonna take the wheel off, make sure that you lay the bike down on the non-drive side to make sure that you're not gonna damage any of the drivetrain components. So now we gotta break the bead on the tire. So that entails pushing the bead towards the center channel of the rim. If you had a tubeless system, you may get a lot of sealant kind of coming out there, so just be aware. Pedro's tire levers. We have two just in case we break one when we're on the trail. And if you're gonna use two tire levers, make sure you put them about four or six inches apart, put them in at the same time, and then lever them down to break the bead and then it should be fairly straightforward, especially with high volume tires, to break that bead loose. And of course, a lot of stands sealant in there, so that's gonna be a little bit of a mess. Gonna dump that out and have us a little party. Lots of different companies make tire boots. This happens to be from Park Tool, venerable tool manufacturer from 
Minnesota. This is their TB2 Tire Boot 2. This is a non-flexible material that repairs the casing. In the absence of a true tire boot, you can use something like a dollar bill or the wrapper from a nutrition bar, something like a Cliff Bar or a Scout Bar or something like that because they're non-flexible. They won't allow the tube to pooch out and rupture through that casing. But this is an adhesive back tire boots so this is really great it comes in a three pack like this so make sure the inside of the casing where the cut is is completely clean and dry especially if you're using any kind of sealant because the adhesive is not gonna work any kind of mold release on the tire center the tire boot on the slash in the sidewall we're gonna do that right here press firmly Make sure that it's adhering. And if you've been running tubeless, a couple different options. There are some people that recommend sewing the sidewall. It's a little bit of a time intensive process. We recommend just taking a 29 or tube or whatever wheel size you're using, insert a tube and just run it as a tube system for the rest of your tour. That's gonna be a lot more efficient. Sidewall is repaired, that Dragon Festoon Redneck of Badlock has been banished. I'm gonna take my essentials, put it back into my Porcelain Rocket Mission Control on my old school Asylum 29er OCD. Get this thing all cinched down. Thanks again to our friends at bikepackersmagazine.com. I got somewhere to be, I got some friends to meet down the trail. Have any questions about this or anything else? Give us a call or visit us at westernbikeworks.com. Howdy ho!